Hey, welcome back this morning. We're at 1 Samuel, and today we're going to finish chapter 6 and start on chapter 7, because remember, the chapter, chapter breaks in the Bible, I hope you know, those are not in the original text. Those have been added later by the editors. So we're going to start at chapter 6, verse 20, and we're going to finish at chapter 7 at the end of verse 1. And the men of Beth Shemesh said, Who was able to stand before this holy Lord God, and to whom shall it go up from us? So they sent messengers to the inhabitants of Kirjath Jearim, saying, The Philistines have brought back the ark of the Lord. Come and take it up with you. Then the men of Kirjath Jearim came and took the ark of the Lord and brought it into the house of Amenadab on the hill and consecrated Eleazar his son to keep the ark of the Lord. So the backstory, I think you know it by now. Battle between the Hebrews and the Philistines. They brought the ark into the battle. The Philistines win the battle, capture the ark. Seven months, the ark is in Philistia. People begin to get sick. The god of Dagon falls on its face. They want to get rid of the thing with great care and respect. They bring it back and they bring it back to the Hebrews. They never even open the lid on it. The Hebrews get it, they have sacrifices, begin to have a big party, and somebody says, hey, let's look inside and see if the things that are in, supposed to be in there are still in there. You cannot look into the ark. So there's a slaughter, 50,000 and some Hebrews are slain. They were wrong enough to look into the ark. So the men of Beth Shemesh were struck and many of them died. And so what happens next? First of all, they say, who's able to stand before this holy Lord God? They're, they're, they're going to get some renewed respect now. They haven't been treating God with very much respect. They haven't been treating his stuff with very much respect. But now they are uh, starting to re, uh, get re-educated here. We need to be more careful with God's things. Look, there's dead people all over the place. Okay, so they're not happy about that. Who's able to stand before this holy Lord God? Did you notice that the word holy suddenly shows up? When the people have been punished and they're laying dead around and dying on the sides, suddenly people begin to realize that, oh, God is holy. You know what? They don't want it to be there either. The Philistines brought it back. They were so glad to get it back. You know what? Now they're ready. Let's just uh, don't, let's let it keep moving. We're, this thing needs to keep moving. It doesn't want to, we don't want it here in Beth Shemesh. They want the ark to carry on and go somewhere else. That's what we have here. They sent messengers to this other city, and they say, they brought the ark, please come and get it. So then they come and they take the ark, and the ark goes up, and they appoint someone to be its keeper. And what an honor, what an honor to have the ark stored in your house. I wonder how many of us would be concerned that maybe there might be some stuff in our house that God might find to be offensive, maybe some some bad videos or some bad downloads or some bad movies, maybe some some foods that aren't really appropriate for us to eat, maybe, maybe worse stuff than that happening in your home, I hope not. Is your place, is the place around your person and the place where you live, as much as you have authority and are able to, to make it so, is it a place that would be proper? Could the Ark of God be stored in your house for a few years? Something to think about and to remember the question that they have asked. Who is able to stand before this holy Lord God? You and I serve a holy God. Friend, that means something. Not to be fearful, but to remember God is holy. And he's calling you and I up to be holy with him. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, sometimes your people get pretty far away from you and it, you have to teach some very strong lessons. And there's a lot of sorrow on every side because we have forgotten your purity, your love, your holiness. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer today. Thank you for people like the people of Kirjath Jearim who wanted the Ark of the Holy God in their city. May we want it in our church, in our home, in our heart in our city. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. So friend, the Holy Lord God wants to dwell with us. What can we do but surrender our hearts to him and be right and bow down before him and see what his plan is? May God bless you today as you and I, as we serve the Holy God.